Okay, for this problem, uh, they want us to write the two functions that form this, y equals 9x minus 4, and then we're going to use the chain rule formula in order to find the derivative. So, first, the inside function, that's always going to be your g of x, or the u in this case. And so we're going to go ahead and put that down, 9x minus 7. Now, to find the, the f formula, you're going to remove the part from the inside and replace it with a u. So if I remove the 9x minus 7, replace it with a u, then I'm going to get u to the fourth power. And that's now going to be my f. So now we're going to use the chain rule formula in order to do this. So to find the derivative, the, the formula for it is derivative of f, and then times the derivative of u, which in this case is going to be the derivative of g of x. So it can be written either this way here as g of x, or usually you'll see it written uh, as u primed like that. Same thing, because the u we're saying is equal to g of x. So now let's go ahead and do that. First, the derivative of f, it means that you're going to bring the power down, so we're using the power rule for that one. 4 comes down, u, subtract 1, and you get 4u to the third. Then we're going to multiply this by the derivative of u, which is also the same thing as this, because it says up here u is equal to g of x, so we're going to take the derivative of that. The derivative of this is going to be 9. We uh, put this together, we get 36u cubed. To write your answer, the last thing you're going to do is replace the u with our 9x minus 7. And so we get 36 9x minus 7 to the third power. And so this is going to be your derivative by using the chain rule. Now as you do more of these type of problems, you're going to be able to uh, not have to keep writing this out every time. But starting out, it's good to actually go ahead and write those out. So, uh, in the future, what you'll do is basically take the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. So, 4 comes down, make it a 3, and then you multiply it by the derivative of the inside, and that's exactly what we did right here.